Potholes have been on the minds of everyone this winter and spring, but the good news is starting today, St. Paul's asphalt plant, which serves the entire state, is back open and running. This means no matter where you live, you're going to start seeing those potholes being filled with a more permanent fix over the next several days and weeks. Our Mario Mose is alive at the asphalt plant in St. Paul, where city leaders just finished giving an update. Elle, what's their solution now? Well, Shayla, I can tell you this, that the whole state, myself included, is celebrating that this plant is back open and we're going to start seeing that more permanent fix to these potholes. But we heard from Mayor, Mayor Melvin Carter today, who said that this winter did a permanent damage on the roads here in this city. For perspective, in 2022, there were 85 damage claims for potholes sent to the city. In the first three months of this year, there have been 280. 50 damage claims. As I mentioned, the good news is you will start seeing hot mix or asphalt being filled in these potholes all over the state. Every city and county relies on St. Paul's asphalt plant. Even parts of Wisconsin come here to use it. But St. Paul Public Works says that the plant opening back up isn't enough. The bad news is that we are at a point when the streets are failing faster than we can fix them. And so we're going to get to work, we're going to make the streets better, we're going to fill the potholes, but we need the investment that comes from something like the local option sales tax. So that's the solution that we have heard about today. So Mayor Melvin Carter says that he is proposing a sales tax and right now it's being pushed through the legislature and if passed, St. Paul voters will see that on their ballot this fall. And what it would do is it would provide billions of funding to rebuild the road systems here in the capital city as well as reinvest in all the public parks. Shayla. I'm Marielle Mose reporting. Thank you so much, Marielle.